Hey you guys, welcome back to Drinkity Drinks and today I'm gonna go through the best bottles of 2021. These are the best bottles that I've tried. Obviously I have a lot more bottles that I haven't tried. I bought a lot, but um, these are the ones that I have tried and are just the best of the best, but I have them in different categories. So we're gonna go over the categories briefly really quick and then I'll tell you which ones won the category. I have the best flavored liquor, whether it's whiskey, rum, tequila, the one, the best one that has flavor in it the best bang for your buck, the best aged, the best tequila, the best rum, the biggest surprise, the one that surprised me the most, that it was so good, I didn't expect that much of it, and the best bourbon, and the best of all. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with the best flavored liquor, which is actually whiskey. I haven't, I did do a review, but something happened to the video, so this is amazing whiskey. And I have to do another video about it because I just really like it. It's Howlerhead. I don't know if you guys heard of this, Howlerhead Monkey Spirit. It's a whiskey, and I think this guy is part owner or something to do with it, the guy that runs UFC, Dana White. But this is really good whiskey. If you ever like flavored stuff or you wanna, or if you like bananas, this is super duper, bananas, banana pudding, banana cake, banana uh, bread, everything in here. And it's just really good to drink straight or put a little Coke in it, but it's just really good straight. So this wins the best flavored liquor of 20 21 category two. We got the best bang for your buck. This is the best bang for your buck when it comes to buying something. The only thing I don't like this one too much is because some people have a hard time getting it. I don't know why, but you could go to other places and it just sits on the shelf. Early Times Bottled in Bond is the best bang for your buck because it is delicious juice and it is only, think like $25 and this is a whole liter. So you get 250 more milliliters than your regular fifth of something. And it's just really good. The bottle's nice, the glass nice, it's 100 proof, it's just, it's caramel, it's just really, really good. I really like it for mixing drinks or even drinking straight. This is some really, really good juice. So the next category we have, I'm gonna go right to the biggest surprise. This bottle surprised me the most with the amount of flavor it had and everything, and I just wasn't expecting much from it, and it just really packs a punch. It's really underrated. Um, unless you heard someone else talk about it or something, it's just, I think it's very underrated. It is Chattanooga uh, 111 proof cast strength this stuff is really really good juice and you might not expect much of it because to me it seems like chattanooga came out of nowhere maybe i'm just new and i just didn't really hear of them or something but um i just seen them hit the shelves and yeah this was there i gave it a try because i like high proof so obviously i picked the highest stuff and it's great i tried the regular one the regular one isn't too bad but this is just a step up and there's so much so much flavor in that thing and it lingers and stuff this is just some really good juice i encourage you if you haven't tried chattanooga start with this unless you don't like high proof then you know go with the regular one or something like that but it is really good it really surprised me so this one's the best surprise so the next category we have is the best aged the liquor that i tried this year and everything and it's actually a 10 year rebel 10 year I know some people tried it, maybe they liked it, whatever. I blind it straight out the box, straight out the bottle. I only took, there's not even that much gone out of here. I just took one drink out of it. You can see it's still at the top. This stuff was good right out of the bottle, was freaking excellent. So I really, really like this. This is the best aged. So now we're gonna move on to the next category. The best tequila is this, El Tesoro Anejo the tequila anejo. This is just so freaking good. I mean, you could just drink it straight. I'm sure you could mix it. I wouldn't mix it because there's so much dang flavor. You want to taste all these flavors. I'd mix something else. This is just a beautiful bottle, beautiful top. Everything about it's nice. This is the best tequila that I've tried to this date. I love it. I'm a big El Tesoro fan. I have other tequilas, but this is it, bro. This is really, really, really good, and it's a great bargain. I get it for like $47. I mean, it's amazing for under 50 bucks. This is the tequila to go to if you want to try something different. It's not even that dark. I mean, man, there's so much flavor in this thing. So now we're going to move on to the best rum. And if you followed some of my videos, you probably know this one is this four square 2008. So much flavor in this bottle. If you like bourbon and you don't like rum, try this. I guarantee you'll change your mind and you'll start trying out some rums, especially like high proof. This thing comes in at 120 proof and it's just freaking amazing, amazing, amazing. This is so, so good. So, so good. I love it. This is the best rum I ever tried. I have some other good ones, but this is like by far. It's just 
leaps ahead of all the other rums that I have. So now, let me give me a glass because I want to pour me a glass of this next one. So this next one, we're going to go into the best bourbon. But it's crazy, this one won both categories. It is the best bourbon and the best drink I've ever had in my life. Old Forester Single Barrel, Barrel Strength. It's picked by the Corona Cigar Company. I talked about them in another video that I did. They just make great, great picks. I don't even want to drink this. I, I honestly wish I would have grabbed two bottles of it, but there was only a few left. By the time I realized how good it was when I cracked it and I did a video on it, there was none left. Man, that is so freaking good. Oh, but Old Forester hardly never messes up with anything. This is some really, really delicious, delicious juice. I love it. So there goes my top liquors of 2021. I know I left some out um, that I have because I haven't opened them. They're probably better than this, but I haven't got to them. I haven't opened them. Hopefully, I'm going to get to them soon. I've been really, really busy. I've also collected like quite a bit within this year. I've got like a lot, a lot of collection. I'm running out of space pretty much. I hope you liked it. If any of these have you tried or do you like? Have you tried this? Hollerhead like this. Every single one of these. If you see them on the shelf and they're regular price, whatever, buy them. You're not going to be mad at any one of these. I'd say this one is probably, you know, some people don't like flavored whiskey, flavored anything. So whatever, especially if you don't like bananas. But if you like bananas, this is the best banana drink I ever tried. You got the early times, like I said, the best budget bourbon you could freaking buy. If you see this, buy it. I mean, especially if you want to mix some drinks, you can't go wrong with that you want a surprise pack a bunch of flavor for like 40 bucks i think this is i'm not sure but this is amazing this is amazing you can't really find this one i think this one's a little hard to get there was only a few bottles when i bought this and um this is affordable this is the most expensive rum i ever bought it was a hundred dollars this i got for like 90 bucks but it's well well worth it i want to try the single barrel the lower proof one too that's supposed to be really good i should get me a bottle of that and i did see it on one shelf so anyways there it goes guys happy new year's to all you guys hope you guys like my picks and yeah until next time you get yourself a drink drink something you love <laughs>